Hey guys, it's Norse here, and today I'm going to be explaining to you in a two-part video how the Atlas works and how to manipulate it to your benefit. So we've already gone over the basics in the first video, so if you missed that, feel free to go to the description and click on that. I would highly recommend looking at that before we come into here because there's going to be a few tips and tricks that we'll need to know in that video. Okay, so get down to it. There's one thing I want to um, let everyone note is when you shape a map, it is now then not linked to the tiers near that map. So we have a tier 11 here, but we only have a tier 7 and tier 5 linked. So that means, going back to the first video, that we do not have a tier 12 or a tier 10 linked with this. So that cuts off half of the chances to drop a map from that. So we cannot drop a map from that. So that means then we can go to the other one, which means completed. And we can only complete the maps that we then want, and it will 100% give them the chance to drop. This only really works from shaped maps, because if we did it, just say, we wanted to do Underground River, but we didn't want to get Underground Sea maps dropped, now that won't work because it's linked. So if we want to run Underground River and we only have strands active, we only have that unlocked, we don't have that unlocked, we'll still get underground sea, sea maps. So that means we have a 50% chance to get a strand and a 50% chance to get underground sea map. So that's why shaped maps are so important, because they are not linked to maps of their tier, like close to their tier. They're by themselves. So that means we can then go and only complete, let's say we really like shaped arachnid tomb. Let's just pretend that's a tier 12 and we only had that shaped. That would mean that we can only get that as our tier 12 drop. And it works the same in their own tiers. We have no tier 11s on our Atlas at all. Strand is our only tier, and because they're not linked to a tier 11, we can only get strands to drop. So that means you can force that to drop, which is really good, because that's obviously the best one, or one of the best in my opinion. And okay, there's one other thing that I want to quickly explain here is there was a misconception that I had with a few people that um, when you do not have another tier, let's say I have no tier 12 on my atlas at all, no tier 12, and a misconception we had with a few friends is we thought that if you don't have a tier on your atlas and it doesn't have linked, you don't get a drop. So if tier 12 dropped in my map, it wouldn't drop, there'd just be nothing. But I accidentally took off Mud Geyser when I wanted to switch to Arachnid Tomb. I forgot to put Arachnid Tomb on, and I was running maps, getting heaps of strands. I was like, why was that? And I found out that instead of just not giving you a map, it minuses a tier off it. So if I drop a tier 12, and it has no tier 12s to roll onto, it then rolls minus 1, and the only one, tier 11 I have is strand. So I've been chaining just strands, and my tier 11 is strand, and my tier 12 is strand. So that way I've been able to accumulate about a quad tab, so 578-ish strand maps, just by running strand, which is amazing, and I thought I should share that, and I think that's about it, yeah, you guys have a good one.